Hey, how's it going guys? JP here. Imagine living back 50 years ago and having the opportunity to invest in Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway stock. Imagine just how much different your life would be today. Well, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you an opportunity that could be exactly that, but in the ESG and plant-based food sector. You see, the thing is, is that boomers don't drive this economy anymore. The millennials and their preferences will soon be the sole driver of growth for the next two decades, where we live, what we eat, how we commute and consume. Unlike the boomers, millennials eat differently and care about their actions when it comes to the footprint it leaves on planet Earth. And this new stock, Billy Goat Brands, realized this and launched a venture capital holding company exactly like Warren Buffett did in the 1960s to locate, identify, invest in, grow, and hold in a portfolio of plant-based, blue economy, and ESG-focused businesses all under one roof. So in this video, I'll be doing a full overview of this new stock, Billy Goat Brands, that just went IPO back in September of 2021, and I'll also share with you a few reasons why this stock deserves your attention in 2022. But before we begin, as always, do make sure to smash the like button and subscribe as it really does help out the channel and I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget that everything said in this video is purely for entertainment purposes only as I am not a financial advisor and as of this recording, I currently do not hold any shares of Billy Goat Brands. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so today we're looking at Billy Goat Brands which is currently trading on the OTC market under the ticker BGTTF. As of this recording, Billy Goat Brands is currently trading at about 5 cents with a market cap of $11 million. So yes, if you are buying here, then you are considered very, very early to this opportunity. Now for you Canadians out there watching this, they also do have a Canadian listing under the ticker G-O-A-T or GOAT or greatest of all time. You gotta love that ticker. Now just taking a quick look at the technicals here, you can see, as I mentioned, this company just went IPO back in September of 2021. Now, one thing to note here, which is pretty impressive, is that Billy Goat Brands raised $12 million in just eight months prior to the listing of Goat on the Canadian Stock Exchange, which is very impressive. So their business model and strategy has already had some strong institutional support. Now, let's just state the elephant in the room. The stock has tumbled since its IPO and is currently down about 69% since the IPO date which to be honest, isn't that surprising given how IPOs usually go. I usually like to wait a few months after an IPO before I decide to make any purchases because let's be honest guys, IPOs usually flop once the hype dies down. Not to mention that this market has been heavily beaten down in general with most of the major indices down significantly. So if you are a contrarian investor like I am, then this might definitely be a great opportunity to buy. As the saying goes, buy low, sell high. Another thing to note on the chart here that I'm seeing is that it does look like the stock has formed a very nice bottom back in early to mid-March, just like most of the major indices. So this could be a very nice base of support. If the price does go lower than support here, then there could be more downside. So that is something I'd definitely be watching in the future. So who exactly is Billy Goat Brands and what does their portfolio consist of? Billy Goat Brands is a holding company that invests in ESG-centered businesses incubates them and holds them in their portfolio. Very similar to how Warren Buffett built Berkshire Hathaway to become the world's largest holding company. Billy Goat Brands identifies great businesses, invests in them, and holds them in their portfolio of the holding company. The way I like to think about this, guys, it's basically like an ETF of ESG and plant-based food companies all in a one-stop shop. Now, Billy Goat Brands currently has four companies in their portfolio, which I'll just quickly go over for you guys. First, there's Fun Guy Beverages, a leading distributor of organic chaga and lion's mane mushroom infused cold brew coffee under its cold brand. Their focus is on moving from single to reusable packaging and they formed a bottling partnership with TerraCycles Loop to provide specifically ESG-centered packaging and distribution. Next in the portfolio is Sophie's Kitchen, which is a plant-based seafood brand that offers a large selection of frozen and shelf-stable plant-based alternatives for vegans and non-vegans. All of these seafood products are soy-free, gluten-free, and non-GMO, and their retail partners include Walmart, Sprout Farmers, Amazon, Walgreens, and Stop and Shop, so very big partners. 
The next company they have in their portfolio is one called The Vegetarian Butcher, an originally brick and mortar plant-based protein retail grocer concept that currently has two operating locations in Kelowna and Vancouver, BC, which is in Canada, with both stores generating positive cash flow within two months of opening. The Vegetarian Butcher also has recently launched an online platform of e-commerce businesses to include mail order and delivery and has plans to open five locations by the end of 2021 around British Columbia and 36 locations over the next three years. Finally, last but not least, they also have another company called Evanis Packaging, which was found in response to the growing global need to replace existing packaging technology with truly compostable, organic, sustainable alternatives with considerations for strength, insulation, but most importantly, cost competitiveness. So as you guys can see on the slide here, Billy Goat Brands is the parent company. They currently own 100% of Fun Guy Beverages, 46% ownership of Sophie's Kitchen, and 12.4% stake in the Vegetarian Butcher. So the way I think about this, guys, is that if you think about the advantages of this business model, there's really no need to develop multiple businesses from scratch when a holding company like Billy Goat Brands can easily handpick the best of the best and develop their potential. So this is really taking a lot of the risk out of the way and which is what we call synergy. In other words, the whole is much greater than the sum of the component businesses as Billy Goat Brands can use their managerial skills to create added value to all stakeholders involved. So instead of having one company operate all four companies at one time, which as you can imagine would be a lot of work, Billy Goat Brands can really focus and dial down on which companies they want to partner with and invest in. And that is what they really is their skill. They have a whole team of managers and investment committee that looks and handpicks specific investments that are in the ESG and plant-based sector, which really lets them separate themselves from other competition out there. But now that you have a better sense of who Billy Goat Brands is, I do want to share with you a few reasons why this stock could do very well over the next coming months and years ahead. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, millennials will soon become one of the largest investors in the market as generational wealth gets passed from our parents, which are the boomers, back down to us, the millennials and the Gen Zs. And unlike the boomers, it has been shown that millennials care way more about the impact that we are having on the environment and our planet and that is where ESG investing comes in. You see, blue economy investing means aligning your strategy with businesses that adhere to the sustainable use of, for example, ocean resources for economic growth, while also reducing the environmental footprint of the world's oceans and the world environment in general. Not only that, but the plant-based market is expected to reach $74.2 billion by 2027. And remember, on day one in office, the Biden administration already took steps to rejoin the Paris Agreement on climate change and already pledged to set the US on the path to net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050 with an interim target of decarbonizing the US power sector by 2035. There's no doubt that ESG inflows will continue to accelerate throughout 2022 and the next wave of institutional interest is likely to emphasize functional foods as consumer preferences among millennial and Gen Z shoppers aligned with broader sustainable practice. And the data backs this up and shows that ESG funds are set for another record year in 2022. With not just one, but four businesses under its umbrella so far, Billy Goat Brands is a venture capital company that's already leveraging the expansion of this blue economy. But again, this cannot happen without great leadership. As I say in all my videos, guys, when you are assessing a new opportunity, always make sure to check who the leadership team is because not only are you betting on the horse, but you're also betting on the jockey. And in this case, Billy Goat Brands is currently led by CEO and chairman, Tony Harris. Tony Harris has over 20 years of experience as an investor and entrepreneur and has earned a reputation for leading high performance teams. Mr. Harris is the president of Tony Harris Group and a partner at Harris Auto Group. As an entrepreneur and investor, Mr. Harris has extensive experience in corporate banking and finance. He is also an award-winning automotive dealer and real estate developer. Tony's vision is to develop Billy Goat Brands into what he calls a specialist in plant-based meat alternatives and the blue economy, which are companies that are making a positive impact on oceans that are being degraded. With all of that, Tony Harris is determined to become a household name 
that investors will remember, aka the Warren Buffett of ESG investing and plant-based foods. And with all of that said guys, let me know down below what your thoughts are on this stock. Are you bullish? Are you bearish? Let me know down in the comment section. If you guys made it this far and you learned anything new, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it as it does help out the channel. And with that said guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wish you a great start to your trading week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.